This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Decisions, decisions, decisions. What's a reviewer to do when a sport luxury sedan like the Audi S3 is delivered for a week of test driving and assessment? We could have spent the time tooling around Atlanta and exploring the performance and technology of the vehicle. But with this platform, it was impossible to resist putting it on the road to get some serious seat time and show it off to students enrolled in the Driving Force Internship Program. So, off to Greensboro and North Carolina A&T University, where a cohort enrolled in the program supported by Audi got a first-hand look at one of the brand's vehicles. Up until now, their experience had been a virtual one, with Audi executives providing a deep dive into the intricacies of the automotive business. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> It's a person! <laughs> I love it! What they got was a chance to see, touch, and feel not one, but two of the Audi Sports sedans. The S3 we drove from Atlanta, and the RS3 fellow driving force instructor Kamatni Rollins brought down from the Washington, D.C. area. After nine weeks of digital sessions, they were revved up to create unique content. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't have no rhythm though, but yeah, I think y'all need to get into TikTok too because I have uh, a scene in my head, what you call oh me? Boy. In addition to content, the students were also honing some practical communication skills such as effective interviewing. So how do you suggest that consumers go about, aside from, you know, reading articles and write-ups, go about interpreting uh, the more technical aspects of cars? Yeah, uh, man, great observation. Uh, I mean, cars, especially German cars, mm -hmm. are... The engineering level of them is just so intricate and it's very hard for us to understand um, without someone interviewing those individuals and then bringing it back to the people, gotcha. you know, so there's really nothing more you can do besides reading and, and, and watching videos, but align yourself with experts in that field uh, who are more close to your lifestyle than not. As Audi transitions from gasoline vehicles to electric vehicles, what are you most excited for to see in their brand? Well, as a owner of a 2022 Audi Q8, um, I am looking forward to seeing the Q8 e-tron. Mm -hmm. So that's the all electric version. Um, we're entering a stage of e-mobility where um, we have to shift from gasoline to um, electric vehicles just for sustainability to lower the carbon footprint of the earth because that's what's leading to global warming. Yes. So if you had one message to the world about the importance of going electric or to convince them to do so, what would it be? Well, gas and oil is gonna run out at some point. Mm. Um, and, and, and when you think of uh, the planetary needs and you think about earthquakes and typhoons and all of that like we're disrupting the planet's natural being you know we're draining it of its natural resources and minerals so at some point as humans uh we have to stop the bleeding literally and right now uh sustainable energy is the key they also got some tips on correct vehicle handling techniques along with a demonstration of defensive driving skills which can always come in handy transmission is called steptronic so it shifts like a manual, but it feels like automatic. As for the S3, the 2-liter turbocharged engine, 7-speed all-wheel drive transmission, and customizable suspension made the trip both ways an experience to enjoy. I'm Greg Morrison.